We begin with a dramatic development in our long-running investigation into conman David Otto and his girlfriend Kitty Lee. The D-grade musicians have now taken their scamming ways to Hollywood, where they've been accused of luring young models with the promise of fame, while their intentions are far more sinister. Wearing tracksuits and a red wine-stained jumper that doesn't quite cover his pot belly, this is David Otto and his girlfriend Kitty Lee as they prepare to flee from their latest scam in Tinseltown. Mr Otto, just some questions about the bikini models you've been um, recruiting in Los Angeles. For someone who calls himself Australia's greatest up-and-coming songwriter, Otto doesn't exactly look the part of Hollywood music producer standing curbside at Los Angeles airport. They tell us that they haven't been paid. And if you ask the Australian courts, this wannabe rock star is a lying predator and a danger to young women who's used a myriad of schemes to scam vulnerable victims. Creepy. Disgusting. And now he's trying his luck in Hollywood. Manipulative. We're also told, Kitty, you assaulted one of the models in a hostel. Did you attack one of them? No comment. I'm feeling pretty shaken up still. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really feel real. His girlfriend, Kitty Lee, helped lure American women before allegedly robbing and beating one of the models. Apparently, you attacked one of them with a shoe, is that correct? She's got bruises on her face. Maybe we'll walk down this way. They're violent and deranged, and they know the system well enough to change their names and create casting profiles that seem extremely legitimate. If you've got nothing to hide, why don't you stop and talk to us? And they are disgusting criminals. As the scammers do their best to avoid our cameras, it's in stark contrast to these selfies they sent to India Everett en route to LA from Brisbane, the model now bearing black eyes to show for her encounter with the couple. I have the audience captain We have everybody who is here tonight who's looking at what we're doing. That's India on the far left in a grungy bar on Sunset Boulevard playing guitar alongside Otto. And this is his latest weird and sleazy scam in action. We're a rock band from Australia. We've got band members in LA as well. We're filming something for our band's promotion and also for our fashion line tonight, hand set outfits. Otto, also on guitar, and Kitty Lee, behind him on drums, approached young women in the US, asking if they'd be interested in paid performances. On the far right is Bethany Regan, who by this stage knew they weren't the big deal they'd bragged to be. I was hired to model their bikini merchandise and stand on stage holding a guitar kind of playing. Otto's website includes reviews praising his stage presence, instrumental mastery, lyrical genius and unique fashion sense which sets him apart from any other band. I just want to get this guitar plugged in, I think we'll take it. I have never been so mortified. It was really bad. Test. Test. The couple told the girls they'd pay them $100 per bikini stage show. All I ever got from them was randomly $13 they sent via PayPal that they said was just a deposit. I've been in this industry for 10 years and I'm not stupid. I'm not, you know, the girl falling for a Craigslist ad. You know, this was a very elevated uh, situation that they were presenting. India is a successful model and an actress, starring in films including Quentin Tarantino's latest movie with Margot Robbie. For her, this storyline developed into something far worse than not getting paid. Not only did they rob me and assault me, you know, I've lost out on a commercial I was supposed to do today. When Otto and Kitty Lee initially approached the American girls, they promised to put the models up at a hotel for the duration of the job in Los Angeles. But when India and Bethany arrived at the address, this is what awaited them, the Banana Bungalow Hostel in West Hollywood. There were no hotel rooms, just bunk beds in a communal dorm. And upon meeting the Aussie couple here on the night of their first performance, the alleged victims say both of them were clearly drunk. Otto smelled like he had been drinking and not bathing for days. 
but we didn't know how creepy they were yet. The following night at the hostel, India claims Otto and Kitty Lee cajoled her into staying up with them for drinks. India was later standing in the hostel's hallway with Otto and Kitty Lee, who can be just seen inside the doorway of their dorm, getting more animated. It was at this moment, the victim says, she started to feel uncomfortable because Kitty Lee was flirting with her. She actually kept escalating the situation and telling me, no, I didn't understand. She has really strong feelings for me. She's actually developed a bit of an obsession for me. India says she politely declined Kitty Lee's advances. She then noticed her belongings were missing, including her mobile phone. And that's when she claims Otto also started behaving inappropriately towards her. Gave me a really inappropriate feel up claiming to be looking for my phone on my person because he was extraordinarily handsy, extraordinarily gropey. He actually tried to put his hand in my leggings and I slapped it away. The model decided she needed to leave the hostel. So she went into the dorm room to look for her things. You know, Kitty kept screaming at me and I just told her, I'm gonna get my phone and I'm going to leave. That's when India says Kitty Lee unleashed a frightening attack inside the room. She had hit me with her fists and an open hands the first few times, and then uh, in my trying to get away from her, she actually wrestled my own shoe off of my foot and started beating me with my shoe. I knock, screaming gets louder. I go right in, and India is in the corner crying trying to get away from both of them. Jackiel Moss, the hostel's night shift worker, got India away from the couple and moved her to a secure room while David Otto tried to calm down Kitty Lee. The guy is blocking the door to the bathroom. The girlfriend was in the bathroom screaming, yelling, trying to get out. They busted in through the hotel door. Uh, they got me out safely. Police were called to the hostel, but David Otto and Kitty Lee fled via the emergency door. This police report confirms the incident is now under investigation. When we caught up with the pair, they were preparing to depart for Australia less than 48 hours later. Can I go to my parliament? Kitty, would you like to apologise to the model that you attacked with a shoe? She has bruising. Kitty, we're also told that you made sexual advances on one of the bikini models and she tried to get away from you, is that right? Could I maybe go and talk to security first? Bethany says Otto's girlfriend also made a pass at her. She was saying things about my breasts right. and their size. And she was saying, oh, you look better in person than in pictures and blah, blah, blah. Apparently, this model says she also had her phone stolen by you guys. Well, oh, that's you, not true. You didn't steal the phone? Just no. stop for a second. David returned my phone to me once the police got involved. Did you attack someone in a hostel? We don't have to answer your questions. You were a con man back home in Australia, Mr. Otto, so are you now trying right, your okay, tactics so here? Shall we go this way? You, you lost the defamation case. So. so are you now trying your tricks here in the US? And it was in fact that defamation case which revealed the extent of both Otto's offending and the number of victims. The judge said that the plaintiff's lack of success as a musician is readily apparent and that his response to that failure has been to enter into a series of business scams which have not merely failed but have also frightened the very young women he sought to include in his musical and sexual activities. I definitely think these people are dangerous. Otto's history in Australia involves a web of lies, luring victims to fake jobs, island resorts and other bikini concerts. And despite that scathing court judgement, he's still at it, sending these online guitar tutorials to models who accepted the LA gig. Welcome to band model classes. I think way more needs to be done because they were able to just get on a plane to Los Angeles and get on a Los Angeles casting site and pick up right where they left off. And that's heinous. India says she's owed almost $300, plus lost wages after her injuries forced her to back out of a TV commercial. When she warned others about them on Facebook, someone she'd never heard of called Quinn Amelia messaged her, you ought to quit while you're ahead and withdraw all your bullshit or we'll be coming after you. I feel sorry for them. What sad human beings. That's disgusting. They're disgusting. They disgust me. Mr. Otto, this is your one chance to defend yourself. I've already defended myself. I'd rather defend myself from. And other young women must now be warned they're back home in Australia. My two biggest fears are first and foremost, not even for myself, but for the next person 
that they're able to do this too, but I'm really actually very disappointed that they're getting away with this. Well, the Los Angeles Police Department's investigation is ongoing and we'll let you know what happens there.